Hawaii is home to some of the most beautiful and diverse landscapes in the world. I first visited Hawaii when I was a teenager. The day I arrived, I remember diving down underwater, opening my eyes, and being struck with the realization that never before in my life had I seen the color of such deep blue water. I've returned every year since. But the water surrounding these islands has a problem, and it stems from something we use every day. How does wastewater impact human health? It can impact it through skin, bacterial infections, gastrointestinal infections. Do you know anyone who's been impacted by that? Like have gotten staph infections or anything like that? I have, I have gotten staph from the water. <laughs> and I also know people that have gotten MRSA and other skin, um, skin infections. Erica is working to protect coral and the coastal environments from one of its biggest threats, cesspools. A cesspool is essentially um, also known as a dry well. It's a hole that's in the ground that is capped and it's used for residential wastewater discharge. So whatever is coming from your toilet at home goes into this underground hole and is, is contained there. The problem with cesspools is that there's no waste treatment. This means that waste continues to foster pathogens, bacteria, and excess nutrients, which can eventually seep out of the pit and contaminate the groundwater. In places like Puaco, which has a high water table, the contaminated groundwater easily makes its way into the ocean. Researchers from the University of Hawaii Hilo conducted dye tracer studies here in Puaco. What they did is they placed dye in toilets of homes with cesspools and waited to see how long it came out along the shoreline. And what they ended up finding is that from flush to reef, it took about six hours to three days to reach the shoreline. According to Hawaii's Department of Health, these cesspools release approximately 55 million gallons of untreated sewage into the ground every day. This means that water contaminated with disease could be making its way into Hawaii's famed beaches. So you have to ask, why are cesspools still being used? People will give an argument, our ancestors have been pooping in holes forever. Well, they also didn't have cooking oils. They didn't have these kind of processed foods that we're now eating that are going into the ground. Brian Lamb, a wastewater technician on the Big Island, showed me firsthand what type of wastewater is making its way into the ocean. Not only have cesspools been on Hawaii for generations, the cost of installing a cleaner individual wastewater system can be prohibitive, especially for low-income families. But the current systems will continue to cause damage to the reefs, which are more than just a tourist attraction that bring in a million dollars a day. Coral reefs are one of the most diverse ecosystems that we have on our planet. They protect us from wave energy, if we lose those coral reefs, we no longer have protection, and this causes a lot more coastal erosion and water comes up on the islands. The reefs themselves support a huge amount of life. Without coral reefs, all of our fisheries collapse. Coral reefs are an incredibly important habitat for the planet. But this habitat is at a fragile turning point. On a recent dive, I saw the devastation that's occurring to these reefs, and it seemed to me that not enough attention has been paid to water quality. The Department of Health has had one person on the island of Maui who is in charge of coastal water quality monitoring. That person recently retired and has not yet been replaced. So currently, we're the only ones doing any sort of water quality testing on Maui. The government is slowly beginning to take action by banning new cesspool construction and offering tax breaks for certain properties to transition to new wastewater systems. But that still leaves tens of thousands of cesspools on the islands. Hawaii very recently successfully banned new cesspools, but there's still a question of how we're going to address the legacy of, you know, the 88,000 cesspools that are that are in Hawaii, and, and then most importantly, the 19,000 that are actually near the coast 
when you're drinking water supplies. With the ban on cesspools, the Department of Health has implemented a $10,000 tax credit, so it could support the financial cost of transitioning away from cesspools to new, better technologies. It became clear to me that there's no easy solution in sight. But ultimately, the government, along with home and business owners, will need to work together to find ways to protect humans and the ocean environment alike or the Hawaii that we've come to know, and I've come to love, might never be the same. Don't forget to subscribe for more Seeker Stories, and be sure to check out this next episode, where we look at how feral pigs are also threatening the survival of Hawaii's coral reefs.